Which is the best infantry fighting vehicle in the world? Which is the greatest modern IFV and why? This analysis is based on the combined score of protection, firepower, mobility, and capacity. All of the armored vehicles mentioned here are incredibly deadly. Analysis is based on specifications and available data. This list includes only operational vehicles that are currently in production. AMZ ZIC Four-wheeled light infantry mobility vehicle 2004 The ZIC was designed from the outset as a multi-purpose vehicle in the same vein as the American Humvee series. It is an all-modern light armored car in the 5-ton range equipped with four large rubber-tired run-flat road wheels while being powered by an Italian Aveco AFO SOFIM A140-43N series turbocharged diesel engine of 146 horsepower output. Dimensions of the vehicle include a running length of 16 feet 5 inches, a width of 6 feet 7 inches, and a height of 7 feet. The extended cabin section allows the vehicle hauling capabilities for as many as 11 infantry. Armor protection is from small arms fire and artillery spray. A ram bar is featured at the front of the vehicle for smashing through barricades. The vehicle is suspended across all four wheels and features a road speed of 62 miles per hour with an operational range of 500 miles. Over the windshield of some ZIC vehicle versions are two banks of two smoke grenade dischargers, four total, so the vehicle can attempt to mask its position in a combat zone. An area of the roof can also support an optional turret, some versions, with variable armament options, including non-lethal police-minded solutions. Typical armament is a 0.3-inch general-purpose machine gun, GPMG, while alternative armament has been the 0.3-inch machine replaced with a 0.5-inch heavy mounting instead. Bay Cayman Initial development of the product was headed by Stewart and Stevenson, a manufacturing concern founded back in 1902 and eventually absorbed under the Armor Holdings, founded 1996, brand label. Its parent company then became Bay Systems and Armaments, which acquired Armor Holdings in 2007. The Cayman evolved from the original Stewart and Stevenson design to the new Bay model seen on the modern battlefield. The Cayman MTV is a further development of the original Cayman MRAP, featuring improved survivability, a 10-person seating arrangement, automatic transmission system, and a central tire inflation system, CTIS. The vehicle utilizes a conventional automobile arrangement which houses the engine at front, the passenger cabin over the rear, and the driver's position over middle front. Ground clearance is excellent and provides strong cross-country capabilities as well as good, elevated views over the hood. Windowed panels are kept to a minimum, and those panels that do feature viewports use thick bullet-resistant glass. On the whole, the vehicle is protected against small arms fire, shell splinters, improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and landmines, up to Category 2. Its V-shaped hull helps to deflect some of the incoming blast, and blast-resistant seats provide additional crew survivability. Run-flat tires allow the crew to exit contested areas under fire. The Cayman MTV marks a new standard for the Cayman vehicle line. Beyond its new armor protection scheme, there is improved engine performance reliability, increased comfort through an upgraded HVAC arrangement, new blast-absorbing seats, and a strengthening the existing underlying chassis. The upgrade program targets some 1,700 trucks for the work. Current marketed variants of the Cayman line include the original Cayman MRAP, the updated Cayman MTV, the Cayman MTV Battlefield Ambulance with rear ramp and add-on armor blocks, and the Cayman Cargo Truck, C2T, with rear flatbed section. Versions can install a roof-mounted turret for mounting small arms as well as add-on armor blocks. BTR-4 Eight-wheeled armored personnel carrier 2009 The BTR-4 is inspired by the Soviet-Russian series of BTR eight-wheeled armored carriers and continues the relatively recent tradition of in-house, indigenous Ukrainian military equipment and weaponry meant to keep the nation as independent as possible. Perhaps one of the most notable differences in the Ukrainian approach to their BTR over that of the Soviet version is the relocation of the power plant to the middle of the hull, allowing a passenger area to be added to the rear of the vehicle. The Ukrainian approach is more in line with contemporary APC, AFV, and IFV offerings the world over. The vehicle's own hull serving to shield passengers when entering and exiting from the rear of the vehicle. 
power for the BTR4 is derived from a single KMDP 3TD two-stroke diesel-fueled engine developing 500 horsepower and drives all eight wheels for true 8x8 action. For discerning customers, a Dutes EBPO 3 Series 4 stroke diesel fueled engine of 498 to 598 horsepower output can replace the original KMDB fitting. The BTR 4 Series features a modular armaments package that can be edited to suit customer or mission needs. The standard version is a turreted 30mm auto cannon with a 1 by 0.3 inch coaxial machine gun. Additionally, the armament display is backed by up to four times anti tank guided missile launchers. In place of two of these launchers can be a 1 by 1.2 inch automatic grenade launcher for enemy infantry suppression through use of high explosive HE lopped grenades. Bay RG35 Mine resistant, ambush protected, MRAP, Armored Vehicle 2009. The RG35 is a relatively new armored wheeled vehicle offering by Land Systems OMC of South Africa. At its core, the RG35 is a highly capable, robust, and rugged all-terrain armor vehicle in the MRAP. Base Systems offers its RG35 product in two distinct all-wheel configurations, a 4x4 form and the standard 6x6. While both designs offer excellent on-road and off-road performance, the 4x4 design is intended as a fast scout for light combat duty. The 6x6 configuration is the base model intended for direct combat in urban settings. The RG35 can therefore field a simple manned machine gun turret or a remote control tactical remote turret armed with a 1 inch autocannon with coaxial machine gun. A standard crew includes the driver, commander, and gunner. A further 13 personnel can be carried in the spacious passenger cabin. Entry exit is accomplished through two hinged automobile style doors at the front of the hull, various roof hatches on the hull, and a powered rear loading ramp. The external design of the RG35 is conventional with the driver's cabin located at the front of the hull. The forward hull is well sloped with an angled glasses plate. The passenger cabin is directly aft with the engine unconventionally fitted to the left side of the hull just behind the driver. Road wheels are large and consist of three axles in the 6x6 variant, each wheel fitting being individually suspended and offering tremendous flexibility when covering uneven terrain. Power is derived from a Cummins diesel-fueled engine of 550 horsepower output mated to a ZF 6HP transmission system. Performance includes a top road speed of 70 miles per hour with an operational of 620 miles. Overall length is 24 feet 3 inches with a width of 8 feet 2 inches and a height of 8 foot 10 inches. This clears it for use in an Airbus A400M Atlas or similar transport. Overall weight is 18 tons. The 4x4 variant is dimensionally smaller due to its simpler four-wheeled configuration, taking on more of a sporty look than its full-size sister. Artec Boxer, multi-mission armored vehicle. Externally, the Boxer fields a most conventional shape as wheeled APCs go, utilizing much in the way of sloped armor for improved ballistics protection. The vehicle sports a wide area glasses plate that is sharply angled toward amidships. The sides of the hull are only slightly angled and the whole roof is flat. The Boxer design is characterized by its use of eight large road wheels, fitted as four wheel systems to a hull side with power steering assistance delivered to the four front tires. The wheels are seated in pairs with two held towards the front of the hull and the remaining held two towards the rear. The driver maintains a front right hull seated position with vision blocks and corner hull mounted external rear view mirrors to guide the vehicle under complete armor protection. He also has access to a central tire regulation system that allows for adjustment of tire pressure on the fly and as the terrain ahead dictates, making for exceptional cross-country support. An access hatch is noted rearwards of the driver's position and centered at the whole roof for a commanding, unobstructed view. Smoke grenade dischargers are affixed to the rear roof of the hull. When armed, the Boxer fields a one 6-inch Heckler & Koch GMG automatic grenade launcher on a trainable mount. This can be replaced by the fitting of a 0.5-inch M2M heavy machine gun as needed. Additionally, the heavy caliber armament can be replaced with a 0.3-inch general purpose machine gun, GPMG. The vehicle weighs in at 25.2 tons and grosses up to 33 tons when fully combat ready. She is said to feature advanced stealth characteristics for an armored personnel carrier of this class. 
which in itself is something of a feat, for she is a rather large specimen when compared to her contemporaries. She fields a running length of 25 feet 10 inches, with a width of 9 feet 10 inches, and an overall height nearing 7 feet 9 inches. The vehicle is powered by a single MTU V8 199 series TE20 diesel engine outputting 711 horsepower which is fitted to a compartment at the front left of the hull. This supplies the Boxer with an operational range of up to 652 miles at a top road speed of 64 miles per hour. BMPT Terminator Object 199 Heavy Armored Support Vehicle 2011 The BMPT is neither tank nor IFV as it lacks a heavy caliber turreted main gun to serve as the former and does away with troop ferrying facilities to serve as the latter. Instead, it is a true support vehicle featuring a standard crew of five, weighing in at 53 tons, and showcasing a bevy of armament options suitable for engaging both heavy and lightweight enemy vehicles at range as well as defending allied tanks against enemy infantry attacks. Primary armament are two 1.2 inch 2A42 series autocannons, coupled with four 5.1 inch Attica T anti-tank guided missile launchers fitted to the turret. These provide considerable firepower against armor targets at range. Secondary armament comes in the form of two 1.2 inch AG-17D Plamia 30mm automatic grenade launchers for suppression of enemy infantry and the vehicle also carries one 0.3 inch PKTM for extremely local defense. Armor protection is a combination arrangement involving composite, steel, and reactive armor. Dimensions include an overall length of 23.6 feet, a width of 11 feet, and a height of 11.2 feet, allowing the vehicle to be transported by railway, heavy-duty truck, or certain transport aircraft. As the vehicle utilizes the existing T-72 running gear, it has six double-tired road wheels to a hull side with a drive sprocket found at rear and the track idler located at front. The upper track section is well protected through side skirt armor plates. Drive power is from a single model V92S2 diesel fueled engine supplying 1000 horsepower. Coupled with the torsion bar suspension, this provides the vehicle with a maximum road speed of 37 miles per hour and an operational road range out to 340 miles. Off-road travel is also possible, though with reduced performance characteristics. Ground clearance is a useful 16 inches. We hope you enjoyed the video. Which infantry car do you consider the most efficient? Leave your answers in the comments. If you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to be the first to know about the release of a new one. Thank you for watching. See ya!